Hello and a very warm welcome. Driver ratings for the Brazilian Grand Prix. All 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their weekend. Driver ratings does divide opinion. Let's jump into it. Max, 9. Uh, yeah, wow. P17 to the win. Outstanding. World class and a champion's drive. It wasn't a 10 out of 10 performance this week. He did have a 5 place grid penalty. Um, yeah. And obviously a dodgy sprint race where he got a penalty under the VSC. Ironically, after Lando got passed. But yeah, 17 fastest laps. A statement, a point proved and a big two fingers up to the FIA. Um, yeah, that is elite. There's levels in this game. And Max, wow. I mean, you run out of words to say for him. Sergio Perez, zero. Got to be zero. I mean, again... He qualifies not good, 13th, spins on lap one. I mean, he finishes 11th. There's five retirements. How is that possible? How has he not scored points? And he's finished behind both racing balls. I'm sorry to say again, and we've used this line a few times. If he was a horse, he would have been put down. Lewis Hamilton, two. Awful. Awful. I don't know what it is with Lewis Hamilton. He looks lost. Um, yeah. Bumpiest ride ever, he claims. P11 sprint qualifying, a poor sprint, finishes 11th, horror start. In the main qualifying, finishes 16th, out in Q1. He scores one point, but he spent more time off the track than on it. Bumpiest ride ever. I think two's generous as well. Um, yeah, we'll be covering Lewis' video later in the week. George Russell, eight. I think he had a good weekend. A good weekend. Qualifies second. A strong qualifying. Destroys Lewis. Qualifying and the race. Finishes P4. He got the perfect start. Was leading for long periods. And then we saw a bit of anger by George. Which we don't usually see. Um, he was not happy that they pitted. Others stayed out like Max. And they got a free tyre change. So yeah. Good weekend though. Charles Leclerc 6. Uh, top Ferrari all weekend, but yeah, just an, nothing spectacular. P4 the sprint, P6 main qualifying, disappointing, annoyed with the red flags. Uh, fifth in the race, yeah, top Ferrari. Carlos Sainz won, awful, too many crashes. He's been the man on fire, I expected better. Um, P5 in the sprint, and then he finished P5. Qualifying crashes brings out a red flag just coming out of turn one and then in the main race crashes. Um, yeah, awful weekend by Sainz. Awful. Not getting any favoritism from me, Carlos. Lando Norris, six. His title has gone up in smoke. He, he had a prime opportunity. He qualified on pole. You know, it's all set up for him. Piastri's been moving over for him, giving him them extra points. It's set up for you. Your tight arrivals in 17. You're on pole. You get a poor start, as we've seen throughout this season. And yeah, then do exactly the same as Russell. Should have stayed out, pitted. End up finishing six and losing a lot of points to Max. An absolute disaster. Oscar Piastri, four. Um, yeah. He's just not up to it at the minute, Oscar. He gets Paul in the sprint qualifying. Then he lets Lando Norris through. And then in the main qualifying, he uh, qualifies eighth. Locked up into turn one. I mean, and that's a joke. Um, especially big opportunity for big points. Um, yeah. And then in the race, he hits Liam Lawson. Apologised to him on the red flag. Just awful again. Awful. Piastri needs to up his game. Fernando Alonso too, uh, a lot of low marks this weekend. Um, you can't give any more though, can you? Yeah, Alonso too. Aston Martin pace is shocking. He crashed in qualifying, bringing out a red flag, pushing the limits. Fourteenth, complained. Uh, he finished fourteenth, complaining of brake issue, bad back. He went off. But he finished the race due to the mechanics working on the car and the floods in Valencia is the reason. So, Stroll, zero. <laughs> Lance Stroll, wow. 
Oh, wow. Did we see a Lance moment on the formation lab? Or did we see a Lance moment? <laughs> I mean, he's got it on a silver platter. He's got a drive for life. Adrian Newey. And, oh, wow. P19's rig qualifying. Crashes in qualifying. Out the centre S. And then on the formation lap, bins it at turn four. I mean, wow. Then he tries to escape and get back. And he gets stuck in the gravel. I mean, it... <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't laugh, but Jesus, Lance. Jesus. Gasly, 10. 10, 10, 10. Wow. Wow, 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 Alpine. Sprint qualifying, 7th. Then he finished the race in 7th. Uh, in uh, P15 in quali, that was not good. But he's ended up finishing P3. Huge points for the team. 33 points. That's outstanding. Ocon, 10. Wow, Esteban Ocon. He's been nowhere recently. And, yeah, he just delivered this weekend. He qualified fourth. A big response. Very impressive. Uh, was P2 in the race. He led the race for long periods. Outstanding. 33 points for the team. They've gone from 9th to 6th in the Constructors. I mean, when you think about it, what an impressive display by Alpine. This team was struggling in testing. They qualified on the back of the grid and they get a double podium in Brazil. One foot one, nine. Uh, yes, great weekend by one foot one. He had his poor sprint quality, but main qualifying third. His higher, highest ever qualifying. Sensational. And then he was running third for long periods in the race. He looked comfortable in third. Then it was absolutely chucking it down. He went for wets, which was the right call. And he was looking in prime position to come through and lead the race. And then they drop the safety car and then red flag. And then it's a free pit stop for everyone. So ended up finishing seventh. Lesbian Lawson, 8.5. Yeah, very good sprint qualifying, P8. And then in the main qualifier, very good sprint quality, P8, yeah. Uh, Lawson, where did he finish? Um, okay, got it now. P5 in the main qualifier. Unreal performance. And then he, in the race, he got hit by Oscar Piastri. And P9 he finished. More points. Held off Lewis and Perez. And a good performance in the wet conditions by Lesbian Lawson. Alex Albon, zero. I was doing an R in what to give Alex, but he didn't do the race. It's a huge mistake. Was it a car failure? Was it Alex's error? It's a huge mistake. Williams, this is the sort of race they need. Massive points were there to be had. And what have they scored between them? Zero. P9 sprint qualifying, then a massive crash in qualifying. He was looking fast in qualifying as well. At one point, it was P2, but a huge error not needed. Was it a car issue? But... Too much damage right before the race. He smashed a car up. I mean, yeah. And they don't give Alex Albon Collar Pinto's car this time because of the backlash of Australia. Collar Pinto won his worst weekend in Formula 1. I have given him a 1. He did lose a family member. Maybe that did affect him this weekend. But, yeah, his worst weekend in F1. But he's allowed an off weekend. Mega support. Argentinian, uh, yeah, as I said, he lost a family member. Uh, red flag, crashed out at the centre S, first mistake in F1, and then he crashed. Um, coming up the hill, yeah, it, not a good weekend for Collie Dog. Valtteri Bottas, 7, uh, yes. Makes Q2, again, impressive. Uh, for me, really impressive. Sprint qualifying was good. The main qualifying, he finished 11th. Believed he could get in Q3 if not for the red flags. I think that's an amazing effort in the green tractor. Outperformed the car. Finishes 13th though. And that is a massive worry for Sauber. Because this is the only chance really they had to score points. And the pace of the car is just not there. That's proven. Five retirements and we... He only got 13th. And he's rumoured to have lost his seat. Bottas is doing well at the minute. I don't think he should be off the grid. Guangyu Joe 4. 
Yes, he was last all weekend, but I'm going to name four because many people crashed a car. Guang Yu Zhou was not one of them. He kept it on the track. Um, yeah, not amazing. Always last, but he kept it out the barrier, so he can have four. Um, tough conditions for the drivers. Finished 15th. Last but not least, Haas. Nico Hulkenberg, zero. Uh, yes, disqualified from the race. Retired in the sprint. Uh, yeah, caused that mass confusion of me believing the race was fixed in the sprint because he was stood on the side of the track in a dangerous area for two laps. Yeah, P19, an absolute disaster in qualifying, usually a specialist. Spun at turn one and then he got assistance from the marshals, so he got black flagged. Oli Behrman, three. Also, his worst weekend in Formula One. Um, yeah. He did beat Hulkenberg in the sprint quali and in the main quali finished 17th, but it was a tough race. He hit Colapinto, got a 10 second penalty, which was ridiculous because he lost 10 seconds. Yeah, went off behind the Ferrari, tapped the wall. Um, yeah, his first time in the wet, he'll be back. Colley and Behrman, like I say, no favouritism. We mark them as they are. They want to be in F1, they're going to get marked as F1 drivers. So there we have it, driver ratings for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Oh my goodness me, the race reaction absolutely just, ooh, wow, what happened? It's just me reacting to the race. 3,000 views, 130 odd likes on the race reaction, support insane. Um, yeah, I do believe it's because I called out the sprint race being fixed. A load of people came to my channel. Um, unbelievable support obviously we got a couple of weeks off now but the videos will still come daily thanks for watching and as i say driver ratings does divide opinion comment down below yours a lot of low scores this week